today I will feed my tarantula a live mouse I got from a pet store and feeder shop for two dollars this is a feeder mouse don't worry it's not a pet it's intended to be a feeder and this mouse is approximately two inches long plus two in a two inch tail make it four inches in total My tarantula is hiding in its burrow. It's going to pounce once I get my once I get the mouse out. Although some people on the internet may say feeding live mice to tarantulas may be a problem, but as long as the mouse is smaller than the tarantula and the tarantula is used to taking down dangerous prey, I don't think it's a problem. Mice are also part of their natural diet. The mouse cannot escape the quick pounce from the tarantula since my tarantula is the fastest species of tarantula for its size. The mouse will kick for a few seconds because it's spasming because the tarantula ruptured its spinal cord. The mouse will die in 5 seconds. My tarantula, it took down the mouse 5 times faster than it thought it would. Here's the top view. I expect the mouse to actually be squirming for 10 seconds, but instead, the mouse didn't even scream and the tarantula killed it. You can see the size comparison between the tarantula and the mouse. The tarantula is currently injecting its venom and digestive juices into the mouse so that the mouse will become a milkshake for it to drink as tarantulas drink their prey after they digest them. It's the opposite of how we eat, so they first digest it and then eat it, but we eat it and then digest it. I didn't really give the tarantula a large mouse, since a large mouse may be a bit of a threat, even though I'm confident my tarantula could take down a mouse. This mouse is a small mouse, although it's not a baby. It approximately takes the tarantula a day to digest their prey, so here's what the mouse looks like a day later. You can only see bits of flesh and bone and skin left and hair. Nothing else. The mouse is almost fully digested. Thanks for watching. Peace.